I am the 13th Wolfman, and I just went out and saw the, the movie The Possession, a.k.a. The Dybbuk Box. Now, about a year ago, this movie was supposed to come out in the fall, and it was called The Dybbuk Box. I don't know what happened, but somehow, between then and now, it has been re-edited. It was a rated R film, and it was going to be violent and, you know... And it got re-edited, it got cut down to a PG-13, which is, you know, we all know that that's just crap. You know, I mean, we are the horror fans, we are the ones that want to see it. Sam Raimi is producing it. Um, so they changed the name, they changed the rating. It's not a bad film. It just... It's not a bad film. I actually enjoyed this movie. Jeffrey Dean Morgan uh, plays Clyde. Kara Sedgwick plays... What is her name? Wow. The mother, the, the Clyde's ex-wife. And then you have... Uh, you have Natasha. Um, a young girl with the, with the name Natasha playing Emily and... You have Madison uh, Davenport playing the older sister, Hannah. And in the movie, the father and mother are divorced. And they're sharing custody of the kids. And the father comes over, picks up the kids, takes them back to his new place. He's he moved out of an apartment. He's now got his own little house. And one weekend when he's got the kids, he goes by, they're driving down the road, and the girls say, Dad, you need some dishes, let's go to this yard sale. Okay. So he agrees to it. While there, the youngest daughter, Emily, sees this box. This Dybbuk box. She doesn't know it's a Dybbuk box, but we all, you know. So she sees this box, and... Everything is everything. He winds up buying it for her. And the evil spirit that is in the box winds up possessing her. This was such a cool idea. I mean, yes, you could say that they might have borrowed from the exorcist or this or that. Who cares? Did I enjoy myself? Yes. Was it well acted? I thought so. The only, only slight thing I have with this is that Kira Sedgwick... Kira Sedgwick looks like she's about 10 years older than Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So their matchup doesn't quite look right. I mean, I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan is roughly around the same age I am. You know, somewhere between, you know, his early 40s and his late 40s. And Kira Sedgwick, she looks like she's in her 50s. You know, so it just, it kind of throws you off for a while. Um, that's the one, that's... The slight thing, uh, I read the review for this in the paper, and the guy in the paper gave it one and a half stars. But this guy in the paper is a dink, a major freaking dink. He doesn't like horror films. He, he basically, if he does review a horror film, he craps all over it. So, me, honestly, it's a three chainsaw movie, easy, easy. I had, you know, I enjoyed it. I'm probably going to buy this when it comes out on, on Blu-ray. I hope that when they do this, and this is to you, the studios, when you put this out on Blu-ray, you give us a, a two-movie choice. Where if we buy it on Blu-ray, we get the PG-13 and the R-rated version. I want to see the R-rated version. I want to know what was cut out. I'm not saying that the that the PG-13 was bad. It wasn't bad, but I got a feeling there's more story that we're not getting, and that's what I want to see. I want the whole, I want the, all the meat, all the potatoes, not just a little portion. So yeah, that's my review for the Dybbuk box. I love saying that word Dybbuk. <laughs> so yeah, it's a three, it's a three chainsaw movie out of four. I'm the Thirteenth Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.